Good morning, y'all. It's Kia from Through His Strength. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Here on Through His Strength, we're all about prayer, faith, and encouragement. So if any of those things interest you, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. So if you hear all this noise in the background, my car is defrosting because I should have did this sooner than later. But I believe I have a word to share with you all from my own devotion. And you know why not while I'm waiting for my car to completely defrost, get in the word of the Lord. So um, I'm gonna pray really quickly. Hopefully this doesn't take longer than four or five minutes, but I also don't want to rush it because I gotta, but I do gotta go to work. So anyways, thank you, Holy Spirit, for a word. Thank you that you woke us up this morning. Thank you that you wanted us to hear this. Lord God, I ask right now that you, my my tongue will, will yield to you. Actually, I declare that my tongue's gonna yield, yield to your word, uh, what you have to say, what you want to speak to your people. Um, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I just ask that you cover this. We plead the blood of Jesus over this word. We pray for a fresh revelation, fresh fire. Lord God, we love you. We bless you. We lift your name on high. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. I need to roll down the window because somebody's head sauce is overbearing. So, anyways, um, I'm just going to, I think I should be fine. Though. Okay, anyways, I just want to share really quickly with you all, um, that something that God is continuously working on with me and pruning in me and just just beginning to change in me is just this um just this thing of gossip. Um and I real I really realize and I believe and I just think that one sin that a lot of teachers probably work with the most or um are oppressed by the most or have to deal with and kill the most is gossip. I just from on, on personal experience, I believe gossip is the sin that a teacher really needs to continue to take to the um, Christ and the sin that needs to be most avoided in a school. Um, I believe all these jobs that have confidential information with children or anybody else are jobs that really need to stray away from gossip. But I also believe that because if you're called to this area or that if you work in these areas where you have confidential information about people, that one of the things that the enemy probably will attack you with the most is gossip. Um, even before you're in the career, while you're in the career, and after you leave the career. So I just wanted to say that um, I'm not blaming a job on a sin, basically, we, you know, Satan. But I'm just saying that I've noticed this thing is kind of common in certain areas. With that being said, um, I was just praying. I'm asking the Holy Spirit, okay, so how do we, how do I personally, I'm talking about myself, and I'm just sharing this with y'all, but how do I personally not fall into the sin of gossip. I think I can turn my, oh y'all, sorry. I can turn my ear now some. Woo. How do I personally not fall into this sin of gossip and let it ruin my life, ruin relationships, ruin friendships? How do I, uh, what tactic, what can I do to overcome this, overcome gossip? So one thing that Holy Spirit placed in my heart that I could do to overcome gossip, some wisdom for it, was to look up the not just the definition of gossip but the antonym of gossip to stop focusing to change my focus not stop focusing but to change my focus from stopping an action and to shift it to putting more emphasis and more focus on a different action so what i'm going to do is share with you the definition of gossip some antonyms that i found of gossip and some scripture that god showed me and revealed to me behind it so <clears throat> The first thing, the gossip means casual or unconstrained conversation or reports about other people or rumor or report of an intimate nature. Um, antonyms for gossip are facts, the truth, quiet, silence, conceal, and hide. Now, I will say conceal stuck out to me the most. I'm just kind of walking through my notes and my process, but conceal is the one that stuck out to me the most because when I kept hearing conceal, I'm like, oh, that sounds like protection, protection, protection. Um, but when I looked up the definition of conceal, conceal has some um, 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 synonyms or words that mean the same thing, um, like cloak and cover. I'm like, this is definitely how God does this. He protects us. He covers us. Um, he, we, we're his sheep. We're his children. He protects us. Um, but what God placed on my heart from this definition and this understanding and this new knowledge was begin to protect people's personal information more than anything, to focus on protecting and concealing their personal information and then just this little like this little little asterisk here don't protect their information however just as your own information because some of us tell too much of our own information 
holds per people personal information with much higher regards than your own because some of us know we talk talk too much about our own stuff so don't hold other people's information like you hold yours hold it better because you you tell too much of your own business and it's not and to keep in mind like when you're when these things come up when you're about to talk about somebody business or when you're about to share something about somebody else that they shared you you need to ask yourself um is this was this confidential is it my business to share um and some scriptural report support that i looked up because i was looking up gossip in the bible um gossiper in the bible and stuff and what i came across was i ooh, I've got a bit of work but what i came across was um first one that came to my heart was matthew 22 and 39 and kjv and it says thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself so you know we really if we get mad about people telling our business and our information when we find out about it then we really should hold that same thing and standard over other people and ourselves so love them like you love yourself you don't want nobody to tell your business you don't want people to talk about your personal information without your consent then don't be telling anybody else's personal business without their consent my shoulder I'm starting to cramp um, okay, and the last one that really blew me out the water because I did not know the scripture in this version, and God is good. Um, but it's Proverbs 11 and 13 in KJV, and it says, A talebearer, which is a gossiper, a talebearer revealeth secrets, but he that is of faithful spirit concealeth, concealeth the matter. I did not know this scripture. I didn't know conceal would be in it. And I told you earlier when I was doing my notes, conceal stuck out to me. And then God showed me Proverbs 11, 13 and conceal stuck out to me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, a faithful spirit um, conceals the matter of a person. A tell bearer reveals secrets. Um, a tell bearer is a person who maliciously gossips and or reveals secrets. One little thing that I got to add in here because I felt like God kind of spoke this to me um and to share was that um a tell bearer is a person who maliciously gossips or reveals secrets and that god just needs some people to know that although this action does need to change it needs to stop it needs to be better that some of you are not doing this maliciously just so that you're not walking around in condemnation thinking that you are malicious in any way and evil in this sense or stuff but um that it you're not in your heart malicious um and that malicious means intent to harm that some of you are just talking you just talk too much you're not even trying to harm people but you are talking too much and that that doesn't like that doesn't change the fact that it is still a sin though you're not trying to be malicious your intent is not to hurt people you're still sinning we're still sinning when we do it so you're not malicious but it's still a sin so it still needs to be something that you get in check y'all i pray i'm a spirit of faithfulness over you right now i declare that there is a spirit of faithfulness that is going to come from this word come into your hearts and god's going to show you exactly how to focus on concealing and hiding purple people's personal information with a high regards to love them well in this way um, i love you all god loves you all and it's peace and joy until next time